Hello, Kitty. It's a brand new week. I was under the weather for a couple of days, but now I'm back, back for a big book project. In the last video, we spoke about imitation and emulation. It's an intuitive way to understand drawing techniques and compositions. Sometimes it can be your best teacher because you are learning with your hands. It's an embodied way of learning. Think of it like teaching yourself how to ride a bicycle for the first time. You can't really learn by reading about it or listening to someone explain step by step how to balance on two wheels. You just have to observe someone else do it, and then try it yourself. In a similar way, this method of imitation and copying works well when drawing comic book characters inhabiting a world. When I was much younger, I never thought of this, and I just drew panels based on my imagination. The problem with that is imagination is based on memory. Memory of what I've seen, heard, or experienced, and memory is filled with huge blind spots. We only remember the gist of things. Drawing from imagination is like remembering a dream. Just try it. What did you dream about last night? Can you draw it? I'm sure you can, but you'll end up with a feathered image, like a tunnel vision. We can't see the whole picture. We can't observe nuances, like in the way light reflects or casts shadows on objects. To notice this, we need the real thing right there in front of us. This is why a reference photo comes in handy. It gives us real-world information on how a scene can be drawn effectively. Now I don't have to draw it realistically. I just need to apply a few little details that would make my drawing convincing. I mean, look at my drawing style. It looks sketchy. I don't even draw details on the character's face, and yet you understand what he's doing. You can feel the environment he's in, and you can follow the direction we're going. All right, that's all for now. I'll talk to you later.